guys, I am back with another video. Uh, I do hair content, I do body game videos, I do workout videos, everything like that. And follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is gonna be on the screen, so follow me on TikTok. But we got an important video today. You know what I'm saying? This is fresh on my mind, so we about to get into it. I just feel like I need to tell y'all about this because I am in I'm in Miami. You know what I'm saying? We're in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? I'll show y'all the views and everything like that. But let me see. Y'all can see. Y'all can see all that. So, so yeah, basically, that was it. So basically, uh, basically, okay, yeah, body game attention, and basically how it works and why it's so important. So, so for for Miami, as you guys know, everybody's body is perfect here. Like first thing first, everybody's in shape here. Everybody's on their grind. <laughs> It's expensive out here. Food, even eating, is expensive. Uh, let alone lifestyle, let alone eating. I mean, let alone living. But the main thing I want to tell you guys is that how attention, how important body game is when practicing body game and being in the body game and being here. First things first, it's not only a pretty face being here. Let me tell y'all this. The women here is bikini. What's that? It's only bikini, bikinis, high heels. No clothes, restaurant. That's it. Second thing, the guys, it's not only money here. Their bodies are perfect, too. So it's, it's almost like when you're competing, their bodies are good, too. So it's like, when I tell you it's competitive, it's competitive. People are in the gym. People are hitting the gym. Everybody's running. Every time I wake, wake up, people are running. People are doing and getting on the ground. People are swimming. We're literally swimming now. And that's why I'm telling you this body game, understand body game, and understand attention. Is that it's very, very important to understand that when you're practicing body game, when you're doing your ground, when you're getting focused on your body, it rewards you, it pays you. First thing people who look here is like, okay, how aesthetic is their body? Who has the best body here? You know what I'm saying? Who is able to uh, attract the highest and best? And that's what I want you guys to know is that when you do travel to either other countries or you travel to other states, people are looking at your physique. And physiques here is a comp, like a, physiques here is a, a level of currency. You know what I mean? It's like money, yes, but first thing, before you even get to the next conversation, they're gonna see how, their, how your body looks to them. Men are looking to the women to see how their body looks. Uh, women are looking to men to see how their body looks. So it's just like, keep that in mind, make sure you practice body game, stay in the best shape of your life because the younger you are, the better your body, the more opportunities you have. You know what I'm saying? You can get a tattoo, you can do all that to your body to each his own. But understand that when a great boy, you have a great body, you get a lot, a different type of level of attention. And I'm gonna make up a separate video about this. And it's basically like the silent killer, or the silent attraction. Basically what this happens is when your body is at a certain percentage, body fat percentage, you do not have to speak. You command attention in the room and people are looking for you. People are approaching you. People are coming up to you. If you're alone, of course. Or, you know what I'm saying, if you're in a group of people, if they, they feel that level of attraction to you, they will come up to you. If you're their type and everything like that. So that's what I'm saying. You want to treat every day and every day like an opportunity to present your perfect physique. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get in the gym, lower your body fat percentage, percentage, diet, and learn more about your body because you just walking on the beach, you attract it hundreds of people, you attracted thousands of people without you even knowing you driving in the street, you being just being yourself. And this is so crazy because you don't have to speak a word. You don't know who's attracted to you. You don't know how somebody's feeling. But one thing that you have is their attention. You have their eye contact. And that level of eye contact can lead you in rooms and lead you in places to where you can better your life. It's so much opportunity and people are always looking for you know what I'm saying? Who is here? Who is this? And it's 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 a powerful thing because you only think of it like them being able to pay attention to you is good. But when that happens, then you can proceed to grow. You know what I'm saying? You can proceed to stretch your your abilities. You know what I'm saying? Practice your abilities. Get better. Be around people who are on that same frequency, that same wavelength, or things that you're passionate about. People will talk to you about it. And it's just like, oh, you work out, you go to the gym, or you're into your fitness, you're into this. Okay, we have a party here. You want to come to this party? Okay, come to this party. You meet this person. You meet other influencers. You meet other people like that. And they, people just want to meet like 
individuals. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you wake up about, whatever you're excited about, it's other people who feel that same way. But people are attracted solely based off your body, solely based off you being able to like either take your shirt off, you know what I'm saying, or your your muscle insertions and everything like that. You don't understand. In the fitness community, people hurt themselves to get to a certain level of physique. They diet, they hurt their stuff because they become sick just so they can get a certain level of protein and people just take it for granted. Kids, 18, 17 try to pick up chicks, they just want to like a nice body, whatever, they want to look cute, whatever, whatever. But they don't understand that the level they're at, that metabolism, people will kill for that because you can eat whatever you want and you can just go on the strip, ask for numbers. But what I'm saying is take advantage of your time. You know what I mean? If you can work out, work out. You know what I'm saying? get at six pack abs get it if you can get the perfect body get it because it's a silent killer it's currency your body is currency and i'm not saying this sense of like you know saying using your body selling your body but you have to understand this is a level of you to where you can attract and better your life you know what i mean it's a whole community it's a whole fitness community it's a it's a really big industry and it's people want to be around people who work out people want to be around people who look good you know so So yeah, just understand that, you know what I'm saying? Understand that when you go to different places, no matter what race you are, no matter what uh, religion or whatever like that, people still will appreciate a nice physique. People understand that that's hard work. People are still working out, I'm on the beach, people are still working out. People are like going hard, pumping, sweating, uh, physical exercise, everything like that, because they understand that this body can attract the family that they need, that they long for. They can, it can attract the love that is necessary to continue every day. You know what I mean? It's like you can attract, you can attract that partner who's also in the gym who can support you and love you in the ways you need to be loved. And it's like, just don't take that for granted. You know what I mean? Because that attention, a lot of times it starts off small, but guess what? If that person would have never looked at that other person, they may have never got married. You know what I'm saying? If that person wasn't attracted to their partner they have now, they wouldn't be in a relationship. And it's like, you have to treat of being like trying to be the best you can be so you can attract and have the family that you're meant to have. You know what I mean? It's not the fact of like, okay, somebody doesn't love me for how I am now. Be better. You know what I'm saying? Be better in a sense because you want to be able to be the best for your partner, be the best for your wife. You know what I mean? Because it's like the better you are, the better the family is, the better the dynamic, the better, the more comfortable you're living, the more, you know, goal driven you are, the more goal oriented you are. And that matters. Because at the end of the day, you, if you're God, you're pushing that household. You know what I mean? The woman wants to be safe. The woman wants to be comfortable. The woman doesn't want to have to worry about everything. Maybe she wants a, a goal-driven man who knows that if times get hard, the guy's going to do whatever it takes to protect the family. You have to understand that at a young age that the more successful you are, the more, the more goal-driven, the more people are attracted because it's like they understand you can handle that stress they may not be able to handle. You can handle going into work and working long hours and not quitting, not crying, not complaining. You can take care 